Hello, my name is William Jared Weaver, and today I'm going to be arguing for a cause, and that cause is love. My claim of policy is that humans should surround a basis of love and not hate. <clears throat> so we should love and not hate. So hatred is here in our society. There's no denying that. And my question for the hatred is, how long until the walls start coming down? How long before the foundation just erupts and it breaks down? Because we see in history that it's happened before. Hatred for a culture or for a group of people has never worked out in the past. People have tried to uh, make another race extinct and they failed miserably because they, it was on a basis of hatred. See... Hatred only builds up, builds up walls and creates ignorance among a culture and creates this view of wrongness to someone's conceived problem with a culture or a society. It only builds ignorance. It doesn't build your mind. See, love is what gives hope. Love is what people will draw to if given the opportunity. So the reason I'm so big on love is because I see it all the time, but I also see hate all the time. But the reason I'm so big on love is because I'm a Christian, I love God, and I believe God is love, and I just believe we should love each other. But the reason it's so big to me is because Christians have a notorious reputation for being judgmental towards people who don't have the same faith or belief as they do. See, they say they're supposed to love all the time and be loving, but in reality, we see a lot of Christians are the judges or, or the people who don't love the most. <clears throat> so our job as Christian humans, being, a, uh, being subjective, we're meant to be Christ-like, and what Christ did was love people. But a lot of people um, misunderstand that, and they think it's to judge people and to be cruel and be mean to people. And so the goal that I would like to achieve with this is for humans to essentially love unconditionally. If someone's mean to you, you're nice to them. If someone, as an example, steals your cupcake... Instead of saying, hey, why did you steal my cupcake? You suck. Uh, I'm going to steal everything you have. You say, that's fine. I forgive you. And I love you no matter what. And once that person is has seen an act of love, it makes them want to love. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to give you your cupcake back. See, to give love, you got to to gain love, you have to give love. It's a big part of it. So <clears throat> back to Christian society. So there are some churches around that I like to call hate churches, Christian hate churches. And one of the major Christian hate churches is the Westboro Baptist Church. So they're the church that pickets. They hold up signs that say, God hates you, God hates fags mainly. Their website is God hates, godhatesfags.com. And they're very publicly against all things that they don't believe in. So, in the case of Snyder versus Phelps, a Marine Lance Corporal named Matthew Snyder uh, was killed in battle. So, during the funeral, members of the Westboro Baptist Church came to protest and, and picket the funeral. Now, they stood 50 feet away, make legal reasons, but they held signs that said, God hates America. God hates soldiers. Thank God for dead soldiers. All these extremely hateful, offensive things. So, obviously, Snyder sued. I would too if they were mean to me. Well, not mean to me, but acted in a hateful way. You know. But then you can go ahead and say he didn't love by suing. But that's my whole point is we should love. Instead of suing them, he could have just said, you know what, I love you no matter what, and showed them love. And maybe they would start to love. I don't know. You see, in the Bible, I don't mean to get preachy, but in the Bible it says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. So you see, especially Christians, and 
they're technically held to a higher standard, which is love. We're supposed to love. So in the article, Love Instead of Hate, the author said, in society, we're so quick to have an eye for an eye, which is so true. But instead of an eye for an eye, how about an eye for nothing? How about an eye for love? So I would like to propose a change of action um, to anyone who has experienced a hateful person in their life. Now, by hateful, I mean acting aggressively towards you, acting like they want to hurt you, acting like you're not as important as they are. Any sort of hateful action, you act back in love. And that's the change that I want to propose. Because if one hater has a change of heart, it's worth the whole thing. So the benefits, I should say benefits, well, before I get there, I want to give an example of a grocery store clerk, let's say. Let's say she's has she's new on the job and she's having a rough day and she's being slow and everyone's getting mad at her on the line and she doesn't know what to do, she's freaking out and everyone's being mean to her. Hey, hurry up, hurry up, what are you doing, what are you doing? But then you, as a lover, go up there and tell her, hey, sweetheart, you're doing amazing, don't worry, you're going to be okay. You could have changed her life, you could have changed her whole outlook on humanity saying, wow, there are good people out there. Now, to not talk about the Christian society, Gandhi. Gandhi was an amazing teacher of peace and love, and he wasn't a Christian. And he said, power is of two kinds. One is obtained by fear of punishment, and the other by acts of love. Power, based on love, is a thousand times more effective than fear of punishment. So if you want power internally, externally, power is love. Power, the power of love is amazing. And even Dr. King uh, was stated saying that Gandhi is extremely important and extremely correct in his theories about love. And Dr. King was a Christian. And see, it doesn't always have to be a Christian versus non-Christian, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? It's all about loving humanity. So <clears throat> some critics might think that it's our right to be angry at people who hate us. It's it's our right to hate certain people and certain cultures because our culture is, uh, we are U.S., we are American, this is our culture, so we should hate every other culture that tries to get in the way of our culture. Well, I say no. That doesn't create a foundation of love. That will be destroyed internally because there's no stability with hate. It will tear down. So... I just want to leave you with love is the right way. Love is truth. Yeah. So thank you very much.